fellow Reading Warriors and welcome back to another video. Uh, recently I uploaded a video of series that I've started and I want to continue but I haven't. There's been some delay uh, for one reason or another. Just series I've started and really want to talk about but I haven't finished so I can't really talk about them because I gotta, I gotta finish them, you know? Um, so kind of in response to that video, I'm going to talk about some series that I've started that I do not finishing. So these are my DNF popular series. So the first couple may not come as a surprise as I've kind of talked about them before in previous videos. Um, so the first one that I will be starting with is The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. This has at least two other books in the series and I just didn't enjoy this first one. I had a very hard time uh, with the plot because it seemed like there wasn't much of a plot. It was all very drama based and it's the characters just refused to communicate with each other and they didn't really have good reasons for it other than they just didn't want to. They didn't feel like if they're teenagers they don't care. Um, and that kind of story really bothers me. I really do not enjoy stories where the whole point of why there even is a book to begin with is because someone decided to just not talk about something with someone they should have or are close to and then they act out because of it or you know I'm just those kinds of stories are not the kind of stories I enjoy reading and so I read this book and I completed the first book but I've decided I'm not going to move forward with this series just because I don't want to read more of immature teenage drama so this is the first one that I will not be reading. The second series I've talked about quite a bit and I've heard some people who love it and some people who hate it I am one of those who did not like it, and that is The Winner's Curse uh, by Marie Rutotsky. Um, I did not like the main character. I felt like she didn't have much of a backbone. She didn't have much of her own opinion. Not because she was conflicted between what her father and her people believe and what the people of her love or the guy she likes. I felt like she just flat out didn't want to be in that situation but didn't know what to do and so she kind of just sat there in the situation. So I read this first book and I read the second book and it's about the general's daughter who her people, have, the Valorians, have taken over, the Hurons uh, have taken over and other people have turned them into slaves. She ends up buying a slave at a market, falls in love with him, and then he's like actually trying to start an uprising and a rebellion to free his people and then she kind of gets she gets put in the position of being uh, a mediator kind of between her people and the slaves because of that relationship which isn't even much of a relationship like that's another thing I didn't like about it was how much you know you want them to get together but then they refuse to but then they do but then they don't and it, it just it was again very like drama filled and I felt like there wasn't good reasoning behind it so this is one that I will not be continuing. I really wanted to because I really wanted the series to get better but as I read the second and started the third book I was like mm, no I just I just can't. It is not worth my time in my opinion so I won't be continuing this series either. Now the next one may come as a bit of a shock as it's a series that I have never mentioned reading because it was a long time ago that I started it and even to this day I don't want to read it. And the thing is, is I own the entire thing. I own the entire series. It was actually gifted to me years ago. And it's on this shelf. But I did not want to read it so much that I actually hid it behind the selection. And so if you watch my bookshelf tour, you'll see it and you'll know what it is. But in case you haven't, I am talking about the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I know, I know, this was a huge series when it came out. Everyone loved it, everyone was reading it, and then movies came out, and just, it just, and they're still making movies for it. It was such a popular thing, and such a huge thing for like, kind of dystopian sci-fi. I, I understand that. I just, I read the first two books, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep going. I didn't quite understand what all was happening. I didn't get the point of anything. The characters kind of started to merge together and they didn't seem very different or independent after the second book. I think the first book was great. I think the first book was fantastic and I love the idea. However, once you got to like the second book and kind of the third book, I was like, 
it's just not something I want to continue reading about. You know, like the first two books maybe, but after that I was just kind of done. And there's a little part of me that's like, you should reread it and try it again because it's been a while. But I also know that there are so many other books and series I would rather read. So I am DNFing the Maze Runner series. Don't kill me. I have two more series that I will not be finishing, and the first one is one that I read quite recently, and that is Dream a Little Dream. This is a trilogy that I read, and I read the first one, and I was like, mm, I can do without reading it. Uh, again, I felt like the, I don't know, I felt like the book tried too hard. Also, sorry if you hear music, there's literally no quiet time for me to film with these neighbors, so like almost in every video there's gonna be some background noise of them, and I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, back to the point. I just felt like this book tried to be so dark, but then at the same time wasn't super serious. Like it's the whole idea of you of this girl learns how to walk into other people's dreams if they let her. Um, and then she ends up joining a group of guys who made a deal with the devil and he granted their wishes, but now they have to do his bidding but nothing has ever really happened to them other than some of them got their wish and they haven't had to do anything other than just keep doing rituals, which sounds very interesting, but I just felt like there were no real life repercussions for what they were doing and the characters all kind of blurred together a little bit and I just, I didn't really care much for the characters or the plot of what was happening. I thought the concept I, was cool, but I don't, I guess I don't kind of like the idea of she can walk through other people's dreams while also having this dark satanic ritual thing happening. I felt like I had a very hard time connecting the two together and I didn't, I just, I couldn't see a connection there. So I felt like they almost should have been two separate books and two separate ideas. Um, so I will not be continuing with that one either. Then the last book, or the last series that I will not be finishing, the first book is called A Thousand Pieces of You. And I read this last summer, two summers ago? Two summers ago, when I first started my bookstagram. And it was like the second or third picture on my bookstagram. And I read it and I was like, it's fine, I guess. But there wasn't much of a cliffhanger. I mean, there was a cliffhanger, but it just wasn't much of a book that I liked. <laughs> Sorry, I felt like the concept was a little lost and a little simplistic as well as the characters being a little simplistic. I thought yeah, everything was very two-dimensional and like it didn't really dive in as deeply as I had wanted it to. It just didn't quite capture me as much as I was hoping it would in order for me to continue on with this series. I think the first book was fine but it wasn't good enough to really make me want to keep reading about the characters, want to keep going into this plot and everything like that. So yeah, those are the five series that I have started and I will not be continuing. Some of them are quite popular and so I'm sorry if some of these are like your favorite books ever, but I just don't care to finish them. I would rather read other books instead. So. Yeah, if you like this video, comment down below what series you started and didn't like, whether or not they were popular. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I will be posting every Thursday, and I have been for a while now, and I'm kind of proud of myself for it. So yeah, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified on Thursdays when I do upload a new video. And until then, I hope your new year has been going well, and I wish you all a happy reading.